don't buy a home in 2024. Hello friends, welcome back. Happy New Year's Eve. We are about to roll into 2024. I suspect the last thing that you want to do is buy a home in 2024. And it's too bright out here, I gotta put some shades on. And it is a beautiful Florida winter day. Sunny, bright, and we're about to go in the pool up here at the Riviera at Disney. And please don't get me started on Disney because although we are a Disney Vacation Club member family and we've been coming up here as a tradition for years, every single time I come up here, I get confronted by somebody from Disney staff about something. Last year it was throwing a very soft football at the pool with my children and this year it was we're not allowed to use Hoover boards or hoverboards or whatever the hell they're called. We're not allowed to use them on Disney grounds because somebody might get hurt and they're at risk. But if you buy a house in 2024, I suspect you're at risk too. So today I wanna to share exactly why you should not buy a home in 2024. And if you find value, please subscribe, check out my free Patreon, which is linked down below and let's get into it as we roll into 2024. And let's start with the global economic climate. And now more than ever, politicians and leaders out there are talking about the potential for a recession. And for a long time, there was no recession. There was no admitted recession. And there was talks about a soft landing. And everybody suspected that 2023 was going to be the year that we really get hit with a very hard recession. And despite the fact on paper there certainly was evidence of one, they kicked the can into 2024, and I suspect 2024 is going to be a much more volatile, challenging year. Inflation is through the roof and the financial world is on edge. And while many folks will point to the stock market as being the leading indicator as to why we are not in a recession, the record highs in the stock market were driven by the Magnificent Seven, seven individual tech companies that drove the market higher. But if you didn't participate in those seven, chances are your financial crisis and your financial investment strategy did not work and you're already experiencing a personal financial recession. But buying a house in an uncertain economy can be extremely risky. And it's really important to be extremely cautious, especially with major investment decisions during these uncertain times. Don't buy a house in 2024 if you have any sensitivity to financial interest rates, meaning you are borrowing money and paying an interest rate, like for example, on a mortgage, because interest rates are soaring. And yes, I suspect that the Fed is going to relent and do what they must to ensure that the powers that be stay in power so while there may be some temporary relief in the near term, I suspect that mortgage interest rates and interest rates in general are going to skyrocket because they are soaring all over the world. And central banks around the world, like the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank, have been increasing interest rates to combat inflation. And inflation is skyrocketing. But don't take my word for it. Look at your grocery bill. Increasing interest rates mean you're paying more for a mortgage, which makes getting a loan for your home far more expensive, especially for the average buyer. And if we look at the housing market specifically and zoom into housing, many analysts and experts are expecting, or I should say predicting, a cooling down period in home values especially after the extremely hot market that we've had over the past few years, which could potentially mean a drop in home prices because the market is extremely overvalued. And if you buy now, you could end up paying a lot more than what the home is worth in the near term, or at least over the next few years. And on a personal note, buying a home requires financial stability. And with job markets fluctuating and becoming more and more volatile, many different industries are facing uncertainty, especially with AI taking over so many new jobs. Before you even thinking about buying a home, definitely don't buy a home if you do not have secure job stability. It is critical to assess your personal financial situation, your job security, and your savings 
before you even think about taking on a mortgage and burying yourself in high interest rate debt. Because buying a home is great if you live in it, but buying a home that buries you in debt and burdens your life is not a good choice. So don't buy a home in 2024. And speaking of lifestyle choices, the pandemic changed how we live and work forever. And although some companies are clawing back employees and making them come back to work in the office, there are many other industries in which remote work is perfectly acceptable. And it's not just acceptable, it's actually optimal. For some folks, you can work wherever you want or where you can ever afford to live. But if you want flexibility, the last thing you wanna do is buy a house in 2024. What's the benefit of being able to work wherever you want to if you're tied down to one location? Flexibility is what you want, and flexibility is key in today's world. Definitely don't buy a house in 2024 if you're relying on the government for anything, because government housing policies are all over the place. From potential changes in tax laws to housing subsidies and a lack of clear leadership or policy across the board, a policy here or a law there could significantly impact the housing market wherever it is you're looking to purchase. So staying informed is critical. And while real estate agents have sold America that owning a home is the American dream, it can also be the American nightmare. Because owning a home is a big financial responsibility from maintenance costs to, to unexpected repairs, like for example, a new roof. If let's say for example, your roof gets blown off by a hurricane, the odds of the insurance company doing the right thing in a timely way so that you're not homeless is basically next to zero. So if you don't have the money to fund a new roof or maybe even a new house or someplace else to live, you're in trouble. So keep in mind, it's not just about the home price. It's also about can you afford to repair and fix it? God forbid anything goes wrong. And Murphy's Law dictates that whatever can go wrong, will. And it's important to consider these long-term financial possibilities when you're buying a home. So don't buy one in 2024. So should you really buy a house in 2024? The truth is, I don't know. And for some folks who have the means, sure, go ahead. If it's right for you, and it's right for your family, and you've got the means. But if anything that I've shared earlier is an item of concern for you, then don't buy a home in 2024.